y equal mx plus b. So m is the gradient, y intercept is b. So let's find out the equation of this straight line here. So first of all, you know that the y-intercept is minus 3. So y-intercept is negative 3. So now we need to find the gradient. So the gradient of this is you just draw a rhyme or triangle. So you go straight line with this and straight line with that, which is 1 and then up 2 unit. So 2 over 1. So you know the gradient is going this way. So therefore, m must be positive, which is greater than 0. So therefore, m equal rise over run. So right is 2, run is 1. So which is 2 over 1, which is 2. So you know the equation of the line is y equal to mx plus b. So in this case, m is the gradient, which is 2 unit. So which is 2x, and then b is minus 3, so we we'll just write it down, that's all. So y equal 2x minus 3 is the equation of this. Now, first of all, you know this line going this way. So in another word, when x get um, larger and y gets smaller, so that's why you have a negative gradient, so which is in the line going this way. So m is negative or m less than zero. So that's the first thing, okay? So please take note. So you know that the y-intercept is two because it cut the y-axis at two. So y-intercept is two. Now, to find the gradient, so you know that, just draw a rhyme or triangle here. There you go. I just redraw this, it's this one here, see? So across is one unit, rise, vertical rise is two units. So gradient, first of all, again, because it's going this, this way, the line, that's which, which is giving me negative, num negative gradient. Then rise over run, which is 2 over 1. So 2 over 1 is 2, so it's negative. So you know that y equal mx plus b. So in this case, m is minus 2 because of gradient, so which is minus 2x b is 2, so which is at 2. So that's the equation of this straight line. So let's say for example, okay, a, a straight line like this, again. So it goes this way, so m is equal to negative. Okay, remember the line going this way is a negative gradient. And then rise is, you can see, going up and across, see, 1, 1. So m is minus 1, minus 1 over 1, which is negative 1. Or you can draw this big triangle here, see? So rise is 1, 2, 3, run is 1, 2, 3. So m is minus 3 over 3, still give you minus 1. So keep that in mind, you can do either way. So you got yeah, we have m now, so now to look for y intercept, which is you can write b or you can write y intercept. So I just write b in this case here easier. So because we because we're gonna write y equal mx plus b. So just write b equal the y intercept is minus three, so negative three. Remember the straight line, equation of this straight line is y equal mx plus b. So now, m is minus 1. So minus 1 times x is minus x. And then minus 3 is b, so it is plus minus 3 is minus 3. So the equation of this line is y equal negative x minus 3. This one here. So first of all, the y-intercept, you can see, Cut the y-axis, we call y-intercept, of course, which is 2. And find out the gradient first. So the gradient of this is because a line going this, this way, so you have a negative gradient. So which is put negative first of all. And then just draw a triangle, right angle triangle, 
there you go. So right is one, run is two. So one over two, so minus one over two. So y equal to mx plus b. So now m in this case is negative half. So minus one over two x plus b, which is two, add two. So you go therefore, y equal minus a half of x plus two. Now, this one here, let's say, for example, on, on let's say this line passing through, let's say um, three, five. So what is the equation of this line? So first step is you know that the, the y-intercept, b, it cut at zero, cut through y equals zero, so b is zero, first of all. Then just find the gradient. So to find the gradient of this, you just draw a triangle, triangle and like this, see? Now, vertical rise, because x is, x is three and y is five, so the rise is five and the x is three, because this is y value and this is x is three here. So the unit uh, horizontal is three unit and vertical up is five units. And then the line going this way, so m is positive, so which means m equal positive, so which is rise is five, run is three. So remember the equation of a straight line in um, gradient intercept form, mx plus b. So you know m is the gradient, which is five over three x, and b is zero plus zero, so it just leave as it is. So therefore y equal this. So y is equal to five over three x. Let's say this one here. Um, let's say it cut through, let's say make it uh, two, and this is, let's say cut through, let's say four here, for instance, okay, draw not to scale. So first of all, the y-intercept is two, that's a y-intercept. Then the second step, you look for the gradient first. The gradient of this is rise is two unit, across is four. So now, if the line going this way, so therefore, the gradient is negative. You have a negative gradient. So now, rise is vertical rise is two, and then run is four. So which means that you simplify, four divided by two, two divided by two is one, I just write negative first, and four divided by two is two. Otherwise, just you calculate a two over four, give you a half anyway. So now, y equal to mx, plus b. So this means that y is equal to m is a half, but negative a half, okay? And then x and b is two, just add two. So therefore, y equal negative a half of x plus two. Now, this question here, same thing. So let's say I make it up, this one is let's say Let's say four, okay, and um, five this time. So it's just same as the previous question, right? Um, so what you do, you know that the y-intercept is zero, and then um, draw a vertical line and a horizontal line, which is give you a right angle triangle. So the, the distance from here to here is four unit, because this is x, okay, and this is y. So then the rise is five. But the line going this way, okay, so th this means that you have a positive gradient. So a positive gradient, so therefore, m is equal to rise, which is five, and horizontal run is four. So that's a gradient. So y is equal to mx plus b, mx plus b. In this, in this case, therefore, x is five over four x at zero. But we don't need to add that, so you know at zero is itself anyway, so just leave as it is. Okay, last one here. So let's say this line cut through, let's say, six and then minus two. So you know that the y-intercept, b is six. 
and then the gradient because the gradient heading this way like that so which means you have a positive gradient otherwise you look at x value here see when x increases y also increases so look x gone this way and y get larger look x and y get larger so you can see so that's why you have a positive gradient so which is gradient is right is 6 and then run is 2 so 6 over 2 and then 6 over 2 is 3 so now y is equal to mx plus b so m is 3 so x is write it down b is 6 so just x is uh, b is 6 just write 6 so what therefore y is equal to 3x plus 6. Thank you so much for watching my video.